In today's video, we're going to strip some minis. Okay, Wargamers, let's do this. So, we have our pre-painted minis that we did with the contrast paints. We are going to take some methylated spirits. We're going to take some isopropyl alcohol. We're going to fill the various tubs up with different combinations thereof. And we're going to drop minis into it and see how well the paint strips off. Okay, let's get started. So here's our first tub with orange guy and a salamander. So we just pop that up. Take methylated spirits. This one's just going to be pure methylated spirits. Cover it up with methylated spirits. It's also called denatured alcohol, I believe, in some places, but methylated spirits is what I've always called it. Clip it on, give it a bit of a shake, put it off to one side. Next, we've got a death guard and a salamander. This one, I'm going to use pure isopropyl alcohol. So we're just going to do the same. Pour that over the top. Always put the lids back on these uh, isopropyl alcohols or methylated spirits or any alcohols for that matter because it is quite volatile. It will evaporate off fairly quickly. And you really don't want to be breathing this stuff in any more, <laughs> any more than necessary. I have made myself quite lightheaded at times <laughs> because, again, idiocy. So this one we've got a Space Wolf and a Death Guard. So let's do a mix of a little bit of methylated spirits to a lot more isopropyl alcohol and give it a pour there we go top that all the way up now I lid you don't want to leave any container open any longer than you have to and I don't know why I clipped the lid down in these before I had to. This one's got a Space Wolf and a Salamander. So let's use a splash of ISO to mostly methylated spirits. Now there's no science behind any of this at all. No measurements, no precise calculations. It's just, is it going to be good enough? I think it will. So we'll get a rough idea. And pop that over there. Next up is going to be our last one. I ran out of small tubs. But fortunately I had three guys going here. We've got a salamander, a space wolf, and a little fire warrior. No, pathfinder. I do beg your pardon. Pathfinder. Right, open this one. Get that about halfway up. Now, the good thing about this is that the solution is reusable. You can keep throwing minis into it. I've got a fairly large tub somewhere that I use for stripping vehicles. So it's done a Rhino and a Tau Hammerhead that I got off eBay. Oops. So you can keep using it. I've seen people saying you can filter it off. The paint doesn't so much dissolve into it as it... Um, as much as it, uh, well, it just sort of just flakes off, I suppose, is the best way to say it. So, today is Friday. These were put in their tubs on Sunday, last Sunday, so five days. I could have stripped them after a day, but um, I sort of didn't really have time. So, this is the pure methylated spirits one, I think. Um, as you can see, if I zoom in somewhat... The paint has already started to chip off this one. Um, you can see the blue of the model underneath. So I'm just going to lift it out and give it a light scrub with the toothbrush. I'm not going to do a full strip. Just going to, and you can also, if you were able to, I don't know if a camera can show that, but there is flecks of paint in the methylated spirit. So I'm just going to lift out orange guy. He's dripping everywhere. Oh, it's gross. Lady, so live on camera. 
so you can see that the paint is literally just I'm not even putting any pressure on this at all it is just so light and if you did put pressure on it it will like fire the paint everywhere I should probably have gloves on but you can see that paint is just coming off ridiculously easy so this is why I always recommend methylated spirits it's just the absolute mutts nuts for this there's nothing better um, that was only a few days and it would have done that after probably just overnight so throw him back in there the next one to look at is the one that had pure isopropyl alcohol so again we're just gonna put our toothbrush and needless to say don't use this toothbrush for teeth like afterwards it's probably okay to have used it before but seriously don't use it afterwards so we'll start with the death guard guy it looks like it hasn't touched it but again just a very light scrub with the <laughs> idiot oops so very light scrub with the brush and you can see we're getting back to the green plastic if I just zoom in it's always hard to tell with death guard but you can see that this is no pressure and it will lift it off now this is I think safer on resin I will do a test at some point where I throw some resin into one of these pots and we'll just see what happens to it not for paint stripping just because it will destroy it. Now this is the problem. This is why I say use gloves <laughs> and not follow my own advice. But yeah, that's relatively successful. So this tub had a little bit of methylated spirits and probably about a quarter to a third methylated spirits and then the rest isopropyl alcohol. So we'll, and if you can see this, there's lots of paint floating around in this one. I was hoping that a combination of the two would provide the best of both worlds so we'll try our death guard and he's mostly been stripped back all by himself I have captured I have been um, periodically shaking the tubs just picking them up and giving them a good shake so yeah that's coming off I mean now again this is fresh paint so I would expect it to come off a little bit easier there was no uh, primer on any of these, again, because I'm trying to do this the way Games Workshop sort of suggests. So if you were doing this with a brush, not an aerosol, I brushed on the primer. But yeah, that's perfect. I mean, that's lifted those off without... Yes, hello phone. That's lifted those off without any problems at all. I am relatively pleased with that so let's clip the lid back on this one is the one that had a splash of iso and then mostly methylated spirits so quarter to a third iso mostly methylated spirits the rest so let's have a little look oh i mean yeah I mean, I don't know what to say, but this one this one's practically cleaned itself. So, as you can see, I mean, the paint really does just... It's hard to do this behind the camera, and it's messy as all hell, but, you know, if you do this over the bathroom sink, you know, where the wife can't see, or your mum, uh, your dad probably be alright with it, you know. Probably just tell you to open a window. But yeah, that's coming off that as good as can be expected. So that's awesome. Oh. Now we'll look at the one that was about 50-50. So I'm assuming this one will be as good as anything else. So far that last one was definitely the best. But I might have shaken that one a bit more than the others. I mean, yeah. Okay, on Clippy, let's see where we go. Again, you want to make sure you're very careful with this because if you spill one of these tubs, it'll just all evaporate off really quickly. 
and you will get very lightheaded again. Look at that. Oh, yes. No problems at all there. Just coming straight off without any issues. No pressure at all. I'm literally holding this brush in my fingertips of my left hand as I do this because I do not want it splashing everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's just coming straight off. So pop that back in there. I'm going to clean these properly uh, later on. There's no point doing it all on camera. You can see how well this works. So. So I think the clear winner was the dash of isopropanol to mostly methylated spirits which actually is the one I would have expected to work the best. Um, the ISO isn't quite as good as the meths, but they both work. Um, so that is what I would recommend at this point. So I'm going to finish stripping these off so I can reprime them and continue with my contrast experiments. All right, until next time, have fun. Open a window. I am going to open a window actually before I pass out here. Um, have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.